If you're dealing with some pretty intense low back tightness or stiffness, whether it be from sitting in, a, in one position too long throughout the entire day or you tweaked a little bit deadlifting at the gym, I want to go over with you today a couple exercises that are my go-to movements for people just to get their low back moving, get things to calm down a little bit. So in the first exercise that we're going to do is called a nerve glide, specifically for the sciatic nerve. Now, the one thing I want to preface is the exercise in this video are not for people that are currently dealing with sciatica type symptoms where they have that traditional shooting, burning pain going down the entire back of their leg. If you're dealing with this, if you're dealing with that currently, these exercises are not for you. They might be in different contexts, but for the purpose of this video, they are not for you. So the first thing I want to do is a nerve glide. And you might be asking, well, if I'm having nerve type symptoms, if I'm, or if I'm not having nerve type symptoms, why am I going to be doing nerve glides? The goal with nerve glides is to work on just getting things calmed down, decreasing tension on that nerve, because when you're dealing with some low back tightness, it could create more tension on that nerve and just cause everything to be ramped up more. So for that nerve glide, you're going to be sitting on the edge of your seat or bench. The first thing you're going to do to start here is you're going to have your hands behind your back, your shoulder blades are going to be rounded, and your head is going to be forward like so. From here, you're going to straighten one leg out, and then you're going to bring the toes up towards you like that. A lot of times for people that have a lot of tension throughout their sciatic nerve, you'll start to see that leg shaking like that. And you'll notice one side more than the other. So in this case, what I want you to do, you're going to start with your toe down and your head down, and then you're going to bring your toe up and your head up. And you're going to repeat that motion 10 times. So this is gliding that nerve. We never want to be reproducing any significant tight, tightness down the back of the leg or in that nerve while we're doing this. This should be a relatively non-painful exercise. So nerve glides is what we're gonna start with first. The next thing we're gonna do is a cat-cow. The biggest mistake I see made with the cat-cow is that people try to do it too fast. And by that, I mean they'll start in that position here, and then it's one big motion up, one big motion down. What I want to focus on here is moving, moving segment by segment. And by that, I mean we're trying to move through our neck, then our mid-back, then our low back, and then we reverse that movement. So what that's going to look like, you're going to be on your hands and knees here, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're going to bring your head and neck down. You're going to round your mid-back. Then your lower back, you're going to tuck underneath. For a lot of people that are dealing with a stiff back, this is probably when you're going to feel the most resistance to this movement. So do not go to 100% right away. You can focus on gradually increasing that movement, the intensity of that movement, over a couple reps. So from here then, I'm going to drop at my low back, then my mid back, and then my head and neck. Slow is the name of the game with these. The faster you go, the more likely you are not doing them correctly. And again, just be gentle with how much you go into that rounded flexion position at first. It just might not be something you have. It might be something you just have to gradually get acclimated to. The last thing that I'm going to do are trunk rotations. So you're going to be lying on your back here. You're going to keep your back relatively flat on the ground to start. And then you're going to sweep to one side and then sweep to the other side. What I don't want to do is I don't want you just to completely let your lower body and your legs fall over here. You want to keep a little bit of tension back here so you're getting some separation. Again, you're going to go side to side. You can do this for about 10 to 15 reps each side. So again, if you're dealing with a stiff back, tight back, these are three go-to movements that you can get started on today.